Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina and I am a fashion reseller on the Poshmark app. You can find me on Instagram at little.black.hanger. You can also find me on Poshmark at littleblackhanger without the vowels. Today, I thought I would show you guys my inventory system. If you follow me, um, or if you've been keeping up with me on here, you know that I switched over to a new inventory system because I have a lot more inventory. I've doubled my inventory. I needed a new system. Now this system is pretty much used, I would say, by a lot of people and you've probably already seen it before. Um, but I promised you guys that I would show you, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I will leave um, everything that I use down below linked in the description so that you can go find these things yourself if you want to use them. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you watch my videos already, you know that I keep my inventory in these um, Ikea style cubes. The cubes are from Dollar Tree. I'm just letting you guys know just in case there's anyone new who doesn't know. Um, the shelving units are from Ikea. You can get them at Walmart, you can get them at Target. They sell them everywhere. Um, and then the cubes are from Dollar Tree. So I will link that down below. These are the bags that I use for all of my inventory. They come in four sizes with a hundred in each size so that's nice you get 400 bags total lynn actually told me about this so shout out to her for being a saving grace once again <laughs> but you get four sizes and it's great for every kind of garment it comes with these big ones for like jackets and sweaters and jeans the thing i like about these bags is they are resealable um, a lot of poly bags that i've used in the past were not resealable. So once you sealed it, you couldn't unseal it without damaging the bag and then you're down a bag. Now, the reason I like the resealable ones is because as thorough as I am with my description, sometimes I miss something, sometimes someone thinks of a question that wasn't answered in my description and I have to go get the garment and answer their question. So, this allows me to have an inventory system, to have everything packed away, um, but I am able to take the garment out if I need to. So that's why I like these bags. I will leave them down in the description box. I get them off of Amazon. So the way I have my inventory numbered is on this one. I have two units. So this, row, this one right here, this first row is A. Second row is B, third row is C, um, fourth row is D, and then I come over here and it's E, F, G, H. Pretty simple. Right, so everything is just bagged up and put in these little cubes. Um, as you can see, I just fold it nice, put it in there, and then seal it, and then I put an inventory number on them. So this is in row A, so it would be like A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, and however many I can fit in here. That's how many numbers I got. Um, it varies by row because certain items are bigger than others, so. I use these little dot stickers from Dollar Tree for my inventory numbers. It comes in a pack of 315 for $1. You can't beat that price, so this is what I use. Um, and then I just write the inventory number on there. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Once I've got an item bagged, I just write down uh, a little short item description. I write down the inventory number that I put on the bag, and then I have my cost of goods right here so that I always have it. I just keep this um, with me. I need to get a clipboard, actually. That would be helpful. Um, but I just keep this near me so if somebody makes me an offer, I know how much uh, profit I'm going to make based on that. So I just like to keep my cost of goods right here. You don't have to, you can just do um, the inventory number and your item description. I made this on Google Spreadsheets. I'll try and upload it and put it in the description. If not, it's pretty easy to make one. So then once that's all written down, I take it to my laptop and in my title, I'll put the little inventory number at the end of my title on my listing so that I know once somebody buys it exactly where it is and then I'll mark it off of my list. You guys saw there was like lines through some of those items. Those items have sold. And then what I do 
is, and this is another tip from Lynn. I swear she should make a YouTube video because she's, she's full of tips. Uh, but I just write down um, the inventory numbers that have sold so that I can use those numbers again um, and replenish my, my inventory. So all those numbers um, that I haven't replenished are on this board. And now I know I can reuse those numbers. So that's it. It's very simple, very easy. That's the easiest thing that I've seen. And I, I mean, obviously that's why everyone uses this system because it is so easy. Um, I guess once I grow a little more, do you see my penny wise? I don't want to freak anyone out, but um, trigger warning. If you're scared of clowns, um, look away. But this is my little Pennywise. He makes noise. Oh! <laughs> it's all feet now. He walks around, but I'm not, I'm not gonna put him on the ground because Scooby thinks he's a chew toy. But I got him at Walgreens, and I love him so much. You guys know how much I love the It movie. Anyways, bunny trail. Once I get more inventory, obviously the system will change a little bit. I'll have to get more like shelving units and stuff like that. But for right now, this is what works for me. I know a lot of you guys are probably working with a small space just like me. Um, you don't have the luxury of having like a specific room for your posh room. My room is just my dining room and um, that's what I have to work with. So this is the inventory system that works for me. Feel free to change it up and do whatever works for you. Uh, but I thought I'd just share those little tips with you. So if you like this video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out. Also be sure and hit that little subscribe button. Right, Pennywise? Hit it. <laughs> um, it's free. I put new videos out every Tuesday and Friday, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye.